Hey everyone, I am back with another video and I hope everyone is doing amazing. Now getting right into it, we're going to be doing the super cute vacation nails based off of this tequila bottle. And I know it's, I think the brand is Glace Azul and we wanted to do a Mexican nail pattern because your girl Cristal is going to Mexico. So... We definitely had to have her slay out there and represent real hard for the fam. So if y'all didn't see Cristal's nails in the beginnings of my videos on my channel, I have to find it, but um, she used to bite her nails just a little bit, nothing too crazy, but we were super excited to do this no chip because this is the first time that she's actually grown her nails out. And really a long time. I don't know if this is her first time. I can't remember if this is the first time she had a full bed of nails. <laughs> but yeah, so I was so, so proud of her. And she was proud of herself for sure. So that's what we're going to be doing today. A simple gel polish manicure. It is going to be structured as well. And um, I will jump back in during the art part.
Now, after I apply two coats of the blue gel polish, I am gonna go in with my glossy top coat to seal all the nails, apply top coat to all of them. And the reason why I'm doing this process is because I want to achieve a textured nail or a sugared nail. I want the art to be, um, I guess, I want you to be able to feel it. I want it textured. <laughs> so I did do this process in, in multiple steps because I just didn't want to risk bumping her nails and ruining the nail art. So I did do this in steps and each step I pour the acrylic over the entirety of the nail until that gel polish has absorbed that acrylic and then I cure in between for 30 seconds. And I'm gonna be doing this process all the way until pretty much the end of it. And then at the very last part of the art, I will have her cure for 60 seconds. I am so sorry for the angle you guys I promise next time I will do better okay I promise <laughs> so I am gonna start by applying the petals the little floral petals and I want to start in the center I'm kind of doing like a teardrop effect that's what they kind of look like or raindrops and I want to start off in the center so that way it helps me even out putting the other petals right next to it. And I want to make sure that I have the same amount of petals. So definitely had to take my time doing this. Not too long, but just to make sure I'm paying attention because, you know, when you're with the client, you tend to talk or look at the movie or whatever's going on around you. So definitely making sure I'm paying attention. And again, I will pour acrylic right all over it and then cure for another 30 seconds. So here I am just filing the edges of all the nails plus these had like little little crusties that can snag um, and yeah they were irritating me when I was doing her nails <laughs> but yeah I'm just giving it a nice final clean crisp file which makes it so extra beautiful and now I'm adding the last two parts of the art and as you can see I am going over with the clear acrylic now you can use white acrylic if you want that's totally fine I just used clear acrylic because I don't know that's 
that's what i thought of at the time but this pretty much concludes today's video look how freaking cute they are oh my gosh stay tuned for the next one bye